Is milk good or bad for you? I will try to answer that question as much as possible. I am Moderate Robert of the Triple Walnut. And, uh, you know, I cannot answer the question. The question to me, except intuitively, is impossible to answer. Intuitively, I know that people like me or my mother or my many of my family members, we have multiple, we have 13 copies of a gene for the lactose persistence as adults. And for example, people are surprised, many people are surprised when I tell them that when my stomach is upset, I do drink milk and my stomach gets better. And they're like, how is that even possible? Because we evolved to drink milk as adults. Majority of human beings on earth didn't. So my bet is that if you disaggregate people properly, then you're gonna get situation where, you know, people who are like me, have at least 10 or more copies of a gene for lactose persistent as adults, gonna be reaping pretty much only benefits from drinking milk. People who have one to nine copies of a gene for lactose persistence gonna be for the most part reaping benefits of drinking milk with very few side effects. And then when you're gonna get people who only have microbial fauna in their stomach that allows for them for lactose tolerance as adults, but not persistence, they it's, it's probably gonna be 50-50. It's gonna be as good as bad for them. It's gonna be kind of neutral. And then when you're gonna get people who do not have any means to be lactose persistent, nor they are lactose tolerant, that's the people who are gonna be getting only negative health effects from the drinking of milk. In addition, those groups in scientific research should be disaggregated by whether they drink milk with hormones or hormone-free milk. So there should be at least eight groups. That's how I ask the scientists for the first truly scientific research where people are divided into eight groups. My bet is that the research is gonna show that uh, you know, research done in Europe actually was correct. Because European Union says that they get in research where they have polar opposing outcomes when it comes to health effects of drinking of milk. So uh, why? It's very simple. Because people north from the Alpine belt, people north from the mountains, for the major part, are lactose persistent as adults, and people south from and within the Alpine belt, south of the Alpine belt, and within the Alpine belt, within the mountains and south of the main, main ranges of mountains in Europe, don't have the genes for the lactose persistence as adults. So when they do run the tests, the, when they do research in countries like Poland, Lithuania, Belarus, Russia, Sweden, Germany, Norway, you know, it comes out that all those people, you know, benefit health-wise from the drinking of the milk. However, when they run research in places like Italy or Greece, it comes out that the milk is bad for them. So to me, it's very simple. It's all about genetics. Some people should simply not drink cow's milk and some people should drink it because it's good for them. However, you know, nobody has as of yet conducted any truly scientific research when it comes to health effects of drinking of the milk on entire human population. So I'm appealing, I'm appealing to the scientists to do the research, to do the first scientific research about the health effects on milk based on the genetics and based on the fauna within your stomach. And that would be very nice. And I am moderate Robert of the triple walnut and uh, if you liked it please click it up and uh, you know subscribe
Thank you very much and I see you next time.